and welcome back to another episode of Sim City Build It and an update with my town, Harbor Hills. Hopefully you guys are having a great day thus far. I just wanted to apologize before we get started about not having a video yesterday. It was next to impossible for me to get the video started. I had to go to the Apple store and we had some technical difficulties with um, another iPad that we own and uh, then my headphones. It just, it was a lot and it's spring break right now. So we are planning on going to Fairbanks, Alaska tomorrow. Yeah. I'm excited because I've never been before and I'm a big fan of like Aurora like the Northern Lights like a huge fan like I'll be the type that will drive around the city of Anchorage till 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning trying to chase down this 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 beautiful lady right and <laughs> in Fairbanks it just like gets delivered to your front door without a problem and it's the craziest thing so anyway the Northern Lights are going to be high these next couple days and well the 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 forecast is is pretty much saying that there will be some high chances of seeing them and we're going to be right where the action is so we're we're going out in the morning so i wanted to get the video started um and get it out for you guys so it just was very difficult trying to get things ready to go um and we're going to be there a couple days and then we come back we're actually going to fly there and we're coming back on a train so i've never rode a train before i'm excited about that but i'm gonna be honest with you guys i have not touched my game since sunday because yesterday was next to impossible to play but um i'm, I'm excited because a last week something big really happened and i'm so excited to share with you guys but i was contacted by a community manager over at SimCity Build It. Yes, yes, yes. And she basically said, I'm going to quote, I just wanted to reach out and say hello. Your videos are great. If you ever have any questions or feedback, please feel free to reach out. <gasps> I was like, yay. So y'all, do you know what that means? At least this is what I'm taking it to mean. I don't know what it really means, but this is how I'm taking it. We got an inside track now to SimCity Build It and the people who work on SimCity Build It. Yes. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I've been polling my club to say, hey guys, like what are some things that we're having problems with? What are some things that we would like to see changes in? What are some things that maybe in the future we would like to see implemented or enabled or what have you? And they've been throwing so many ideas at me. I'm just excited that we actually protect your city mayor. What? What? Can I? I am. Am I not logged in right now? Okay, for some reason it had me like I wasn't logged in. But anyway, long story short, <laughs> my city has now been protected. Yes, I think I've mentioned that to you guys before, that if you want to be able to save your progress, I know in one of my videos I saw someone had commented that they lost all their progress because the game crashed or whatever. The only way, and I know for a fact because SimCity build it people when I have reached out to them before about some connection issues I have, the only way that it could save your game and you could open up your game on multiple devices is to back it up with your Facebook. So if you're not connected with Facebook, do so. If you feel like, I don't want a Facebook, I would probably make one anyway because A, it's easier to get neighbors that way and B, like it just said, you protect your city. So if anything happens, it should and I haven't had this problem, but it should back up and, um, you know, be able to have an option to, uh, to, to, to get your city back if something happens. Sorry, I lost my train of thought because I was just like still thinking about the EA community manager yet. Yeah, the SimCity community manager. Oh, my gosh. So excited. Anyway, so um, I have not checked contest of mares. I'm almost positive I got the prize. Yes, I got. Wow, 11th place. I'm surprised. I, once again, I was in a league, and this sounds horrible, of um, people that weren't really go-getters, like really striving, you know, to get that, that last little bit or whatever. But we unlocked the action movie set. I'm going to place it over here for the time being with my other movie set. Um, wow. Wow. I think here will be the best bet. Let's take a good look at it real quick. Oh, whoa. We got like planes. We got jet we got cars blowing up and exploding we got police car chases and <laughs> we got the ambulance <gasps> this is awesome i love it i don't know how these people are going to feel living right next door i mean i guess they're liking it because they gave me a 5,000 sim population boost and guys i was trying my hardest to work last week on getting more sims i'm still not 
not quite close to a million like I'd like to be, but we're getting there and that's all that matters. So that's awesome. So one cool thing about me doing the video today as of yesterday, as that of yesterday, is the um, Contest of Mayors is starting today. Uh, let me show you guys what my leaderboard was. So I was number 11 with 30,000 points. Number one was 50,000. Um, honestly, I, I hung around like probably this little fourth to eighth place majority of the contest. It wasn't until Saturday when I ran out of assignments that I started dropping, but I felt like it wasn't worth me using tickets. I mean, right now I have 36 tickets. I'm pretty much just going to keep them until I just absolutely need them. And in my opinion, that's when you get up to the higher league, like the um, Megalopolis or the Metropolis League, maybe City League, but probably not. The way the contest has been going right now, I'm feeling like probably even not. But Town League is next, and the contest starts in six hours for me. Right now, it's 3.19 my time. I don't know what time the video is going to be uploaded. Sometimes it takes a little bit for it to upload. But as of right now, it's 3.19. So... Six hours. Um, some things that I have been finding out that's very helpful to me, which I just messed up on, <laughs> is not collecting taxes the day of the contest because almost always my first assignment is to collect a certain amount of money. So I just messed that up because I just collected taxes. Whatever. Um, another thing, too, is sometimes uh, animal feed. Animal feed is like a big one. I almost get it every single time. So what I'm going to do just to kind of prepare myself for the contest, and if it doesn't work out this way, that's fine but what I probably will do is a start having some residential buildings that need to be upgraded so I'm just gonna leave Parisian because more than likely I'll have that as an assignment um, right now I don't have what I need for Tokyo's um, and what else here well these are just plain old residential buildings I'm trying to mix in residential with specialty oh and speaking of which I did grab this park the other day it was 140 sim cash but I really wanted and I don't know whose town I saw it in I'm probably a couple of y'all's towns I really wanted it because I just feel like it's iconic so I spent the money on it got it whatever it is what it is I love it um, I might move it later on to more of a uh, central location like over here because I feel like this is like my busy area way over here off in the cut i don't know if people really are going to appreciate it like i'd like them to but anyway so um oh i need to collect uh my neo simoleons are you kidding me you know what that might have been one that i should have saved too but it's cool i'm just gonna go and collect them now my neo bank is full anyway let's go in and look and see what i need to buy in order to make some some money i mean so in order to um spend some money so we need to try mirror thingy um some other stuff i'm trying to see one of those Pokemon. Well, well, darn it, darn it, darn it. Um, I swear the Neo Bank thingamajig, the Neo Mall, never has what I need. But I'll go on and grab this since I need it anyway, eventually. And I'll go on and do this. Um, my funds are getting, in my opinion, fairly low. I was doing fairly good. Um, with the thanks, with that, with the with thanking, <laughs> with the help, I mean, of uh, one of my beautiful neighbors. So, um. Yeah, so because of that, I might, I'm just going to go on and start a couple of these just so I can have something just in case Omega comes up as an option for an assignment to do an upgrade. So I'll just go on and have those. And like I was saying, I'll probably will go on and start Animal Feed. I know you're probably like, what? But look, it's six hours and I have six hours for the contest. So there's a strong possibility my first assignment might be to collect Animal Feed. And if it is, guess what? I already got 50 going. And I could just collect it immediately. I wish I wouldn't have collected my taxes, but it's done. It's done. The most I could probably do is just go to um, my trade depot and start loading it up with stuff that I could sell. But big item stuff. Like right now, I don't have any big item stuff. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much it. What else happened last week? I did get the plum bob. I added a couple more residences, as you see. I'm finally crossing the way here. Originally, this was going to be my... Um, what would you call it my movie area where all my sets and stuff were going to go but i realized i wasn't going to get like a big population boost over here so that's the reason why i moved everything over here so as of right now everything will be right here like i said until i re move some things around and everything but i'm all about just making smart decisions when it comes to placing buildings like this okay so that's just my thought process at this point but um but long story short i want to say that's all that happened last week my club is completely full so I do not have any spaces for more people but still if you want to be my neighbor feel free to add me add me add me and as the club kind of cycles through members because some people leave on their own or some people will just be like gone you know then I'll just add people as necessary so 
Um, but as of right now, it is full and it's kind of exciting because I'm still waiting and hoping that they're going to give us like some club activity where we can have a chance to really shine as a group of club members together where we could just like rock it out. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Maybe you don't. Maybe you do. Anyway, <laughs> I do have one place that I want to go visit today. And then, like I said, this video is probably going to be a little bit quick. I apologize for that. But um, especially because it's late. But uh, I do need to go get ready because we leave like first thing in the morning. And I got, I'm going to take pictures and video and stuff and, and share with you guys when we get back. I probably should get ready to do something with this. Let me see. We need shovels. Shovels. Shovels shovels darling one two and i need some more wood that's my problem with doing all your factories like that is because now i don't have <laughs> i don't have it oh i'll need it was two anyway okay cool and then i need um three of these bad boys look at that i have three exactly and then i'll be able to send this cargo ship on its way um and honestly that might be one of my first assignments to have a cargo shipment or get some keys and then that could be something that I could work on. I really need to start working on more Tokyo stuff. Tokyo's are my favorite specialty building aside from um, the, the epic buildings. Well, certain epic buildings. And I just, I've been really doing bad about getting my Tokyo shipment out. And mostly because, as you can see, one time I had something crazy. I don't even remember what it was. But, I mean, this is a lot of stuff. 11, 11 of these, um, what you call it, tape measures, five coffees. You know, all these shovels. I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like, this is more reasonable in my opinion. Um, this one isn't as bad, but seven ladders. It just feels like sometimes they ask for too much stuff. And I think that's been like the complaint of mine. Also, last week they were doing a, um, or was it this weekend? They were doing an epic building thing where you could get like double the points. I just, I didn't take advantage of it. Um, like I said, we were having iPad issues. And so my iPad was being tossed around like, you know, like, I don't know, like, 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 what would something that be tossed around? Like a, like a, <laughs> I was about to say like a salad. What in the world? I'm thinking like, like a salad that you eat guys. Okay. So I don't know where your brain is, but no, I'm thinking like <laughs> my, my iPad was just tossed around like crazy. So I didn't really have an opportunity to really take advantage of it, but hopefully you guys were able to, and I can't even collect any of my tokens anyway, but the building that was going to be up for uh, alterations was this one right here which I kind of feel indifferent about because I like the idea of having old classic looking buildings but I also like the newer buildings. so but this one to me seems like an old New York style classic building so I'm torn about getting rid of it now this this one behind it yeah this one can probably go I'm not I'm not a big fan of that one and someone did ask how do you get nice well new, nicer buildings than some of these older like i'm not going to say the term dilapidated but kind of dilapidated i had mentioned that one way you could figure it out is actually pressing your residential building where you do your upgrades and then clicking this little s symbol right here and it'll say land value and as you see from low from light blue to dark 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 blue the higher the um the land value is from what my experience has been the nicer the buildings so when you go to upgrade you know those buildings will be a little bit nicer looking versus the ones that are on the outskirts that are of lower land value at least that's been my experience um hopefully you guys can see what i'm talking about like right here the blues are like so close to each other but when you really look at them you can really tell a difference in the shade how that goes lighter to darker and to me it really makes a difference like what that is what is situated next to so the lakes obviously make like the land be worth a lot more if that makes any sense if you see over here where the factories and stuff at that's where the low land value is at because of course who wants to live next to factories I, I i wouldn't want to live next to factories, so i understand and then of course our newest movie sets are really really amping up the um the land value it's like super super dark right here so you know i i think i'm almost positive well, here we go. Land value is determined by the coverage of areas, services, and specializations. Specializations. High land value will yield wealthier homes when upgrading, so they'll be their nicer homes. Tap and hold to relocate residential buildings to arrange, rearrange your city. So it might be worth looking into if you want to, if, especially if you have buildings that aren't 100% done upgrading, then if you want nicer buildings or you think that you have a potential of getting a nicer building, it'd probably be best to move them in the higher land areas. Like this area right here is like super dark. Um then it might be worth moving some things around and rejigging it or whatever. Um, over here, my omegas are kind of like medium, but right here, like smack in the middle, look how dark that blue is. And it's right next to the river. So 
the river and the castle must really give it um, a higher land value, if that makes any sense. But anyway, let's go visit. Let's go visit. Uh, we're going to go visit. Well, Rogelio is his name, and the name of his town is City uh, Roger Rabbit. So let's go. I'm, I was about to butcher your name. I hope I didn't butcher it, Rogelio. But um, uh, I'm hoping that's how you pronounce your name. Let's go check you out really quick. Um, ooh, Pimpinville. Hello. I need to go visit Pimpinville. Pimpinville. All right, and here goes Roger Rabbit right here. 427,000 Sims. And he's part of the club Cali Love. Oh, I love California as well. Oh, this is, it's like my home that I would, that in Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, and Los Angeles, California. That's like my two gotta live someday in my life. I don't know when, but got to, got to. But anyway, um, so it looks like Mr. Regilio, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right. I feel like I'm not, but I like how that sounds. So if I'm mispronouncing it, Regilio sounds really cool though, to be honest with you. But anyway, so he's working on some lakes and stuff right now. <gasps> look at this ice castle over here. I could not get that one. I don't remember what happened, but I could <gasps> look how that shimmer. Look how that shimmers. I love it. Oh my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, he has his uh, very nice uh, amusement, very big roller coaster, like smack in the middle. I love how you guys are situating your amusement parks. I'm telling you, it makes me want to move. If I wasn't so invested where mine was right now, I would totally move mine around because I love how they're in the center of buildings and stuff. I'm just, I'm loving that right now. Ooh, he has this scary. Do y'all hear that? That's some freaky deakiness. Oh my goodness. That sounds crazy. It sounds crazy. Now, this building with the little blue roof, it looks really nice. I like that building. Um, oh, that's a really nice building. I wonder. I wish that we could just tap it. You know what? That is something that I need to talk to the community manager about. Can I tap a building and figure out what kind of building it is so I can strive for that building later on? Because if this is an epic and it's like an entertainment or something, then I'm going to know I need to work on some entertainment epics. I mean, essentially. Ooh. Man, these are really nice over here. Look at this one. This one with the blue light at the top. That one is awesome. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so busy. Oh, this one's even nice. This blue and gray one is really nice, too. It reminds me of my building that I just said I was kind of indifferent about changing. Except it's dual. It's double colors. Even, wow, even this one is nice. This white one right here? Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, we got bumper cars down there. Um, some really, really nice buildings next to his beach. Uh, has the luxury boat marina. I think everybody has luxury boat marina. I think that was a good buy. I don't remember, I think it was like 50 keys, but when I bought it, it was on sale. I don't remember how many keys it was, but that's a good buy. So if you guys don't have that one, you should get it. That's just my opinion. Um, I think it was really good. I love it. I love it. I really do. And I really want to get one of these um, golf thingies, but I just, I don't know where to put it as of right now. So... I don't know what's going to happen with that. But anyway, um, got some fusion electricity type places over here. I don't know what to call those things. Like, oh, they got the water slide over here. That is so funny when it does that. Ooh, got the the haunted mansion right next to this. Is this a casino? That is a casino. I wonder if the one, I don't know if this is like the one I have or not. Um, then he went and took advantage of the, uh, the outdoor theater. You know, I wonder, that's interesting, the sound that it makes. I'm sorry, I'm all listening to it. Then you got this little robot ride right here that looks scary as I don't know what. <laughs> like, real talk, would y'all ride that ride? Like, real talk, would you ride it? I don't think I would. As a matter of fact, I'm almost positive I would. Now, see, this one is really nice, too, this pink one. I bet you this is an epic, too. Yeah, it looks like it could be like a beach epic or something, which makes me even more, ooh, about my beach epic. But that's okay. <laughs> I'm over it now. I could always demolish it and get rid of it, I guess, if I was really concerned about it. But not until I make my million. When I make my million, then I'll start demolishing buildings if I have to. Not before then, though. But anyway, thank you, Rogelio, for being my neighbor. I love your town. Do you have anything for sale? Nope. And do you have any bubbles I could pop? No bubbles? I came all this way and you didn't even give me a bubble to pop. Not even one. Not even one bubble to pop. Oh, I could kind of see his, where his lake is going to go. 
that's going to be really interesting. But anyway, let's go on ahead back home so I can wrap this video up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, and I guess I'll go on and put it out there since we have connections right now <laughs> to, to SimCity Build It team. If you know of any suggestions or anything that you'd like me to pass along, um, just let me know down in the comment box and I will get that to our lovely SimCity Build It community. Um, what does she call herself again? Now I got to get back on my phone and see. She called herself a community manager. Did I just say that? Yeah. Anyway, so let me know what you guys think and I will see you next time. I hope you guys are having a great spring break and uh, yep, for sure, for sure. Next Monday, I will be back on time on schedule and hopefully you guys rock it out with the next contest of mayors. What is the next prize? Speaking of which, what is the next prize? A sci-fi movie set. Ooh, love it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.